Welcome back to All Things Marine Life, the channel where we dive into the wonders of our oceans. Today we're focusing on one of the most widespread and charismatic seals you can find along our coastlines, the harbor seal. They're cute, curious, and surprisingly agile under the water, but there's so much more to these blubber-coated beauties that meets the eye. So settle in, because by the end of this video, you'll be a bona fide harbor seal expert. Welcome to All Things Harbor Seal. Harbor seals boast the widest distribution of any seal species, populating the cold coastal waters of both the North Atlantic and the North Pacific. You can spot them along the shores of countries like the United States, Canada, Iceland, Norway, and even parts of Russia. That's quite the passport. One of the reasons they thrive in so many areas is their remarkable adaptability. Whether resting on rocky outcrops in Alaska or lounging on sandy beaches in Maine, harbor seals make themselves right at home. They're a true testament to survival in diverse marine environments. Harbor seals are part of what we call the true seal family. This means they lack external ear flaps. Instead, they've got a small ear opening on each side of their heads. Their front flippers are short and their hind flippers cannot rotate forward, which makes walking on land a bit of a challenge for them. One standout feature is their whiskers, which are incredibly sensitive. These whiskers help them feel movements in the water, sometimes especially handy when searching for prey in murky conditions. And let's not forget their blubber. That thick layer of fat acts as a winter coat, keeping them warm in icy waters. Not to mention it provides an energy reserve when food is scarce. Think of it like wearing a cozy blanket 24 seven. If you've ever seen a harbor seal on land, you might've noticed they're not exactly the most graceful movers. Because their hind flippers don't rotate, they haul out by wriggling around in an adorable caterpillar-like motion. This hauling out serves several purposes, resting, regulating body temperature, molting, and giving birth. Harbor seals are generally solitary in the water, sort of like the introverts of the seal world, but on land they often gather in large groups. Why? Safety in numbers and a better chance to pick out a good lounging spot, of course. When dinner time rolls around, harbor seals are far from picky. Their diet includes a variety of fish like herring along with squid, octopus, and crustaceans such as crabs. Their vibrissae or whiskers are finely tuned to pick up vibrations from swimming prey, allowing them to hunt effectively even in dark or murky waters. Typically they prefer to hunt in shallow waters, diving down just enough to snag a snack. But they're also known to take advantage of seasonal fish migrations following schools of fish further offshore if it means a more satisfying meal. Don't let their roly-poly appearance fool you. Harbor seals are impressive divers. They usually dive for just a few minutes at a time in shallower waters, but they can descend to depths of up to 1600 feet or around 500 meters when necessary. They can stay submerged for up to 30 minutes or half an hour by slowing their heart rate to as few as 3 to 4 beats per minute, an adaptation that conserves oxygen while underwater. Their muscle tissue is also loaded with myoglobin, a protein that stores oxygen, enabling these extended dives. Harbor seals typically reach sexual maturity between three and seven years of age. The breeding season can vary by region, but once a female is pregnant, she carries her pup for about 10 to 11 months. When the pup is born, it's basically ready to hit the water. Within minutes or hours, these newborn seals can swim alongside their mothers. Nursing lasts about four to six weeks, during which the pup builds up its own insulating layer of blubber. Harbor seal moms are incredibly devoted, but once weaned, the pups are expected to fend for themselves. Talk about tough love. Out in the wild, killer whales, large sharks, and even polar bears in Arctic regions are known predators of harbor seals. Historically, these seals have also faced threats from human hunters and in some areas, culling programs. In the mid 20th century, Washington and Oregon even financed bounty hunters to kill harbor seals, viewing them as competition for commercial fisheries. Fortunately, that program ended in 1960, but the seals didn't get off scot-free. Human pressure still exists. Their proximity to coastal cities means harbor seals come into contact with pollution, fishing gear, and other hazards. Entanglement in fishing nets can be fatal for these seals, and contamination from industrial runoff can weaken their immune systems. Given their coastal lifestyle, harbor seals often live right on the edge of human activity. While it can be thrilling to spot them, it's crucial that we maintain a respectful distance. Not only is this for our safety, no one wants a startled 200 pound seal snapping at them, but it's also vital for their well-being. Disturbances can disrupt important behaviors like resting, feeding, or nursing. Conservation efforts focus on protecting their haul-out sites and ensuring commercial fishing practices are responsible. 
Many regions have guidelines and laws to minimize bycatch and entanglement. And remember, if you see a seemingly stranded pup on the beach, keep your distance and call local marine wildlife authorities. They'll know if the pup truly needs help or if mom is just out fishing. Now for some rapid fire fun facts about these whiskered wonders. Harbor seals may not look like bloodhounds, but their sense of smell above water is quite keen, especially for sniffing out predators or finding their pups. Unlike sea lions, harbor seals are typically pretty quiet. If you hear barking around a pier, that's more than likely a sea lion. Harbor seals generally only grunt or snort if they're annoyed or if their pups are looking for mom. <coughs> In the wild, they can live up to 25 to 35 years, with females often outliving the males. Recent studies suggest that harbor seals might use unique vocal patterns underwater during breeding season to attract mates, though these are far less raucous than the roars of some other seals and sea lions. Researchers are still uncovering the complexities of their underwater communication. Their fur can range from a light silvery gray to a darker gray or brown with spots. No two harbor seals have identical patterns, just like our fingerprints. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the harbor seal, from diving prowess and adorable pups to the serious challenges that they face. If you enjoyed learning about these incredible marine mammals, be sure to hit that like button, share this video with a fellow nature lover, and subscribe to All Things Marine Life for more deep dives into All Things Marine Life.